Well, as you can imagine, there was not a seat to be had here in the old stadium today. And amongst this crowd, a lot of famous faces, some of them Tigers from the past who came out for one last look-see. Also, uh, and there you see Mark Fidrich, for example. Not only do we have Tigers, there's Kirk Gibson as well. Uh, we also had Gordy Howe, Mr. Hockey, came out. Uh, he likened this to the closing of the Olympia. And Tom <laughs> Wolpat, who played uh, Luke Duke in Dukes of Hazard, said he'd been trying all his life to get to a Tigers game, and he finally made it today. I'm glad he cut it a little yeah. close. He, he didn't pull up in the uh, orange race car either. No, so it's yeah, no daisy with him either. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of the current Tigers sat and watched the ceremonies that went on. Brought and, cameras. And, and every single one of them were lined up right out here on the third baseline, mm -hmm. watching with eyes wide open and had a chance to catch up and find out their thoughts after it was all over. Honestly, it was real weird. It was, you know, I got here bright and early, you know, kind of as a fan. I walked around outside with all the rest of the people and uh, just kind of kind of in awe of it. Like, you know, it's not really happening, but, you know, tomorrow I'll wake up and it'll probably hit me even more. I missed it because of, of what it meant to all the people. You know, the people that come here say that, I mean, as soon as they get here, they turn into a five-year-old, you know, because their dad took them here, their granddad took them here, and it takes them back to that time. Well, the whole night was just a huge, magical experience, and uh, I'm just absolutely blessed to be a part of it, and I think that we all feel the same way. You know, I wonder what effect this will all have on them next year. And, and do they realize, you know what, we got a responsibility here, and we've got to carry this tradition on. We've been down for a while. Maybe the Tigers can come back as they move on to Comerica. And one of the traditions, too, here, the, the hundreds of people that work in this old ballpark, I said uh, good night to uh, several ushers that I've known for more than 25 years here. A lot of them are moving on to the old park. Some may not. And for more now on those workers and they're saying their final farewell here, let's go live to Mike Bowerstock. Mike? Well, you know, David, uh, many of these workers will be going over to the new Comerica Park, but uh, they're going to miss the old stadium here because for many of them, this is more than just a job. Soft-spoken Sarah Simpson has worked at Tiger Stadium 31 years. The last 11 years, she has run the press elevator. And like so many other workers, it's so hard to say goodbye. I'll be sad when it's over. How so? Oh, I'll be sad this is the last time. Some of these workers will follow the Tigers to Comerica Park, but they hate to leave Michigan and Trumbull. I've been here 15 years. I don't miss it. It's, it means a lot to us. To me, it's a breaking heart. Breaking my heart. Sanders Clark has been an usher 10 years. It's been a great, great thing. Camaraderie with the people that I work with. A nice quick bunch of people here. It really is. Dwayne Daniel, seven years selling programs. Last day is a blessing to be here, and I hate to see the stadium close, but um, on with the, uh, out with the old and in with the new. Erwin Cohen may be the lone voice. He was the last person to count all the seats in the stadium and discovered seven more than the Tigers thought they had. To me, this was never ballparking. On the outside, it always had the appearance of aluminum siding factory or some or federal building. But overall, there was a feeling of melancholy and tremendous sadness. Nearly 100 years of history was over. For some of them, though, they will be back here tomorrow. It takes about three weeks to close the whole stadium down, and a lot of them have to stick around for that. David, Tim, back to you. All right, thanks. You know, down here around the ballpark, uh, a lot of people have their favorite spots that they like to go. Got to hit Nemo's for a burger and, before the game or and, whatever. Yeah. And, and certainly those businesses have enjoyed great success, especially when the big crowds were coming down here. Well, it was a boom today, and in fact, folks probably noticed the last few games the parking uh, prices have skyrocketed. So it was a boom today for all these businesses. But what's next with the stadium gone? For more on that, here's Harry Harrison again. Well, David, I was over at Nemo's earlier. They asked about you. They said they missed you today, so stop in before you leave. But whoever said business was going to be dead at the end of the game, take a look at what's happening right behind me. Ten after ten after ten is all set up. People who left the game at least two hours ago are still here as businesses are making money hand over fist. As a matter of fact, businesses couldn't have been any better for restaurant owners and bar owners. Fans packed every square foot of every single establishment within four square blocks of the stadium. And you know, owners say despite the fact that the team has moved across town to Comerica Park, they expect to do just as well next season. We already have reservations for 27 parties for next opening day. So we'll be here 
Peter Party at Shelley's next year. You know, over the last 10 years, our business has just gotten better and better and better. And I think the city is really uh, right on the cusp of doing something great. And yes, they are looking for things to continue to get much better as the next season comes. Very optimistic about next season. We'll have more of that a little later. And straight ahead on your UPN 50, 10 o'clock news, we'll have more Team Tiger coverage about the final day down here at Michigan and Trumbull. Also, the rest of your news and your first morning forecast. Stick around.